Hey guys, I want to show you something called WinLink. Now this is WinLink Express, says RMS Express, but it's WinLink Express. Now, WinLink is something that it goes on the the idea that if the internet is down in a disaster area or in the area you're in, it's up somewhere in the world. It's working somewhere. So what you need to do is take your emails and send them via radio to another radio which is connected to a computer which is connected to the internet and that computer can put your emails on the internet. Now in a disaster area such as Puerto Rico this was one of the primary means of communication uh, for disaster response and the reason being is that all the government agencies, all the disaster response organizations it has forms that you can use to fill out the form and then send it to them so they get it in a um, an layout that they're comfortable with so it's it makes uh, communication during a disaster easy but say you're you know somewhere uh, camping or what not and your car breaks down and you're out of cell phone coverage well you can send an email to an SMS gateway uh, and send it to text or you can just fire off an email to a friend or you know someone in your family and tell them hey I'm broke down out here come get me and you know that's that's an everyday use you can use for this and you see it's look it looks like a regular email program you've got your inbox your outbox your send items saved and delete item all that go up here to message type in new message now instead of typing send or send at the end you're going to select uh, put in your outbox because it doesn't send them as you type them so once you do that and say you got one in your outbox you go over here to win more winlink now the only program you have to download with winlink express is called its hf propagation and it's on the the website too so when you go to win more winlink you go over here to open session now you see this now this is what its hf propagation does you go to channel selection and you can select somebody out there that you can send your message to so let's just look down through here uh, him we we'll send it to him yeah he's not great but he's not not horrible either now we're going to make sure the volume is turned up good because I've got the uh, CT 39a cable that I soldered some ends to it's plugged directly into my computer okay so we select him now once you do this realize that on the FT891 it is going to throw your width down to 500 Hertz now when you go settings radio setup see I've got the FT91 I've got USB digital so it uses my digital mode COM7 my baud rates 4800 enable RTS now for the PTT port you're going to select FT891 and most programs you will select COM6 you don't do that in this one you select FT891 and you see it's registered up there so I'll go ahead and turn my width up and now I don't hear anything here you know, I can change my squelch. I still don't hear anybody. So it's safe to say that nobody is talking to. It. So now we're going to have to hit start, but we're going to have to change our width again. Channel appears busy, yes. Connect.
Okay, see, he's connected to us. And now it's just checking to see if I got any emails because I wasn't uh, sending any emails off. And it does look like I've got an email. Okay, so now I got my email. Now it sends my station ID and it hangs up. And that's it. So I got an email and I can just close this out now and see I've got an email.